Thanks for joining us at Bell South for our instructions on how to use the famous Bell South 100 incubator. What we have here is the automatic turner that goes in our incubator. If you've watched the previous ones, you will have seen how to use the incubator as a manual and how to use the incubator as a semi-automatic. And this is the motor drive fully automatic. And it's brand new to the market. We've just bought out the new electronically timed automatic turner. You can see it still has the same turning tray as is used in the manual turn or in the semi-automatic turn and it has some teeth cut into the tray. Those teeth engage with a small drive motor which is controlled by the electronic timer. The electronic timer determines the amount of time that the tray moves for. So you have a large egg, you want the tray to move a long way to turn the egg over and if you have a small egg you want to turn the control down to adjust for a small stroke. The button allows us to press and test the turner to see how it's working. Now how do we use it? Well first of all we get the base of our automatic of our manual incubator. We place the turning tray inside the incubator and we remove the little black bung out of the side of the incubator base. Then we check to see how much free space we have. When these are manufactured there is deliberately a little bit of free space in the side here and we need to allow about one millimetre of, flo of float in the side of the tray. Usually it's a little more than that so we give you an extra tray divider so you can place the extra tray divider and remove any excess float there might be. Now there's about one to two millimetres of side float in the turning tray. The next thing we'll do, of course, is plug in our power, and it's a low voltage supply, 5 volt battery pack, so it's nice and safe, and we're going to plug in our battery pack to the power. Now straight away, the turning mechanism will start to run, and you can see the tray has moved back into its docking position, where it operates a little switch that says, I'm home now. If I press the button, the machine will now drive out and drive the tray out until it reaches the far end of the mechanism. Now we can adjust how long it runs for just by press turning the control and we will see that uh, the unit will now run for a longer or a shorter time according to where we set the control. So you see here if you if you watch you'll see it comes right out and we've set the control for maximum stroke which means the tray will go right to the end and we, we use this with all of our big eggs. If we wanted to do with small eggs we would turn it down, do a little test and watch the way the eggs move. Now we need to uh, put the eggs in the tray, so what we'll do here is we'll put our tray dividers into the grooves to adjust for the uh, eggs that we're going to put in there. Now I've got a few eggs here, and what we're going to do is we're going to put these eggs in the incubator just like we're going to incubate them. We choose an average size egg, place the average sized egg on the, on the floor of the tray, and then get the thermometer. Now a thermometer has been mounted on a different sort of metal bracket, that's used with the manual turner, but if we're using it with the automatic turner, we use a little angle bracket just like this, a pair of nuts and bolts to hold it in place on the tray divider. And of course we want to hold it in place on the tray divider so that we can read it through the window on the top. And what we're going to do is get our egg and place our egg next to the thermometer so we can check the height of the thermometer. Remember, bird's body temperature on top of the egg. And that bird's body temperature is important. That's the thing that's most critical about the setting of our machine. So we're going to adjust the height of the bottom of the thermometer bulb to level with the top of the egg. So we're going to make this, the thermostat switch off at 103 degrees. Having checked that, let's put our eggs in some nice neat straight rows here. And what we'll do is uh, we'll just line the eggs up. And we're going to run out of time on the video, so I'll be very quick here. We're going to set the eggs up as many as we can fit conveniently in a row so that the eggs can turn over nice and neatly. Okay, having set them up, we need to have just a little bit of free float in the side on the side movement of the eggs. That's just a little bit too tight. We'll go to one size larger. So that when we actually press the button to turn, you can see that the eggs will roll over nicely. We're going to show you one more video of how to use this. And uh, if you uh, come back again, you'll see the last video on how to